this is not your battle, but this is your victory. I was thinking about this scripture that declares, stand still and see the salvation of God. For the Egyptians you have seen today, you will see them again no longer. And oftentimes in life, the enemy fights you because you're making progress. He fights you because you're making the head where he's fighting because he's fighting you for your consistency and your faithfulness. But the father says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He says, because I'm about to destroy the thing that's trying to destroy you. I'm about to fight on your behalf. It is not your battle, but it is your victory. He says, because I fight for my children. And he says, and you can rejoice now because you're about to get a victory in a place that's about to be sweatless. He says, because I'm a fight Fight for you and I'm going to defend you. You don't have to fight in this battle. All you got to do is stand still and watch my power. Stand still and watch my glory. Stand still and watch my favor. He says because this battle, it don't belong to you. He says it don't belong to you. He says because the enemy is really trying to stop the word that I placed over your life. This is not your battle. He says because this thing is about the word that's over your life. This thing is about about your purpose and about your destiny. He says, so now I come in and come on and I wage war against the enemy. This is not your battle, but it is your victory. He says, because when I get done with the enemy, you're going to get the victory. You're going to see my favor. You're going to see my hand. It's put the bottom of the screen. This is not my battle, but this will be my victory. Have a good one.